Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is February 28th, the last day of meteorological winter, but you would not know at it by looking at the atmosphere and what's been going on over the last few days and what's coming up here in the future across the state of California. It's going to remain active here and we continue to bring some pretty extreme weather across the state here. We'll look at those details here in a moment. You can see at the middle of a water vapor loop here, that ridge out over the Pacific, bringing that variable jet stream, allowing this troughing and very cold air to move down across the state continuously. La Nina driven at this point, the Madden Julian oscillation. I keep debating back and forth on whether or not to do a video about it here. Because a lot of times it's better just to look at the short term and the models and explain what's coming uh, via that direction versus showing the MJO and showing what's coming downstream. But it could help to bring a jet extension onto the extended forecast and even bring some wetter, warmer systems into California. So just thought I'd mention that for the time being. But for the most part, we will just continue to look at models as we go day by day. Now taking a look here, this is multiple winter weather hazards, Hanford, California. Blizzard warnings continue across the Sierra Nevada. Just an incredible amount of snowfall up there. And of course, a lot of snow falling, blowing snow conditions up there as well. So a heads up if you're traveling across the Sierra Nevada here. Try to put that off until a little bit later this week at least coming up. Now looking at this expected storm total here, you can see that it does include some places across the Southern California higher elevation, including at times I-5 as you go out of the Los Angeles metro area. So heads up for that. This is all the way down through Southern California as well. I got some gusty winds as these frontal systems move through. Tree damage possible. Hazardous crosswinds. And this does include the mountain and deserts out there and mostly the higher terrain as well. But could be pretty gusty here across some of the Los Angeles metro area down towards San Diego as well. Winter storm warning. This was put up by the National Weather Service San Diego down here and you can see the light snow through Tuesday will transition to heavy snow by Tuesday night through Wednesday afternoon. Check out these snow levels going all the way down towards 2,500 feet here. By the time we get onto Wednesday evening, strong winds blowing snow will create those hazardous travel conditions out there. Great graphic there. Now looking at this below freezing, we got freeze warnings, hard freeze warning out there, hard freeze watch. So watch out, chilly temperatures coming. Look at this, all the way down into the 20s there across a lot of the valley areas here. Watch out for your sensitive plants. This is a 48 hour snowfall analysis here and you can see just on top of huge amounts of snow, more has been occurring and there's more coming on the way folks. Now taking a look here, this is that snow forecast today through Wednesday. Big amounts again across the Sierra Nevada, including places like Redding, a lot of the higher terrain in Northern California as well. Some of the higher terrain around the Bay Area, coastal range as well. As you see, Donner Pass, look at that, another three to four feet possible. Snow levels possibly down to 500 feet in the Northern Sacramento Valley here again. Extreme travel conditions possible. And this is looking at the National Weather Service. I believe Sacramento put this out here. And you can see some of the extreme snowfall rates across the Sierra Nevada, including some of Southern California even as well, even off in through Northern California, Nevada, Utah, Colorado, as well as these storms continue to move through the area. Now, taking a look here, this is a winter weather advisory that has been extended across some of the higher terrain, including the Bay Area and down towards Big Sur, the higher terrain out there as well. Now, looking at current hazards, a little bit more detailed look at things here. You can see the freeze warnings, watches, high wind warnings, winter storm warnings, blizzard warnings all over the place across the state of California. You're going to remember this winter for a long time, folks. And this is looking at the one through three overall winter storm impacts. You can see some of those major or extreme values all the way through Southern California, including the Sierra Nevada and Northern California also there. So this is looking at thunderstorm potential here. And you can see it does include much of Central and Northern California today. I would not be surprised to see this included into Southern California tomorrow. There's going to be some convective available potential energy with this upper level low moving down through Southern California tomorrow as well. So probably have a thunderstorm potential there also, but you can see it exists right now across Northern Arizona, Utah, and Colorado. This is what the Doppler radar may look like. This is the NAM 3KM high resolution model. Put it into motion. This is this morning's run here. You can see this frontal system continuing to bring a lot of snow across the Sierra Nevada. Some of the higher terrain through California as well as this upper level low sags all the way south across Southern California here finally moves out by Wednesday night before potentially more systems come on it through the extended. We'll go over that here in a moment. This is at 500 millibars, somewhere up around 18,000 feet. You can see that cold air moving down with the system. Upper level low tracking all the way across Southern California there. Going to bring some snow, lower snow levels all the way down through Southern California. Now this is looking at surface-based CAPE, convective available potential energy here. Put that into motion. You can see the potential for some thunderstorm activity today, mainly central and northern California. But watch as this comes down south. 
across Southern California as we go on. It's tomorrow. You see that cape around some of the Los Angeles metro, some of the higher terrain as well. Would not rule out a few lightning strikes at that activity through tomorrow afternoon as well. This is looking at 80 meter wind speed here. There goes a frontal system. You can see this strong winds across some of the higher terrains all the way down across Southern California, including the metro areas, the coastal areas as well. This will also be associated with some increased wave activity also here. So yeah, just an incredible winter here across California. Just can't get enough of it really. Now taking a look here, the European last night's run. Actually, let's update this. The 12Z should be running as I'm doing this here. So why not look at the most recent data? You can see that frontal system driving down across the area, upper level low across Southern California through tomorrow. Next week, frontal system brushes the area. Then we get some more cold air dropping down across the West Coast here, continuing to bring in this westerly cold flow associated with some Arctic air dropping down across the region again through the extended forecast. Then look what happens out here. We start to increase at the very end of the run. We start to increase the tropics a little bit here. It might bring some more moisture across Pacific Ocean, more of the subtropical nature uh, variety of it here towards the state of California. That's way out there in the future. I mentioned this a little bit yesterday with the GFS model as well, but we'll just continue to watch that day by day. Nothing to worry about just yet. Now, looking at here, you can see that Japan is over here. It's Alaska, Pacific Ocean, Hawaiian Islands. There's California there. And you can see that ridging the variable jet stream, allowing this troughing to remain open on the West Coast of North America here, bringing just the huge snowfalls across the state of California. This continues on through this weekend, as you can clearly see that troughing there. But then you'll notice the jet get kind of extended across the Pacific Ocean here towards California through the extended forecaster. So that's what we'll be watching through the extended. Just something to have your eyes on in the future there. But right now, this weekend looks to remain active across the state. Big trough digging out across Pacific Northwest with a strong localized jet stream here across the state of California. Now this is looking at total snow in Kuchera. Put this into motion here, and it sounded like a broken record, but just huge snowfall amounts potentially coming up here on top of the just incredible amounts that have already occurred across the Sierra Nevada here as we go on in through the extended forecast. Just showing you that one again here. Let's take a look at the GFS. This is hot off the presses as well. See what it has to say. Good a model agreement in the short term, which is usual for the short term and model runs between the European and the uh, GFS here. Now looking at this, this trough opens up across Pacific Northwest. Pretty good model agreement there with some more big snowfalls coming. We'll see how the storm system develops here. Doesn't quite bring as much impacts across Southern California, but then you can see kind of the Pacific getting a little bit more active here and check this storm out, more of a subtropical origination for this one, moving into the state of California through the extended forecast as well. So the GFS hinting at that um, uh, that potential there as well as we go through the extended. But again, I want to highlight that it's not anything to worry about yet. It's just an extended forecast outlook right now. This is looking at significant wave height. This is current data here, the 12Z European as well. You see the increased wave activity of that system that moves through tomorrow. Bit of a break, then that trough sets up across the West Coast on in through this weekend towards early next week. And you can kind of see the increased wave activity along the coastal areas there. So heads up for that. This is 6 to 10 day. Of course, that below average signal here across much of the West Coast, 8 to 14 day. Not much of a change there. We'll see how this trends though. As you saw, we might get some a little bit warmer conditions here, maybe even some wetter conditions across California through the extended. But right now, it's just kind of fantasy land. And you can see here, we have a high avalanche danger across much of the Sierra Nevada, including the areas up towards Mount Shasta out there. If you're off in the backcountry, you do yourself a favor by clicking on the avalanche.org and getting a lot of extreme detailed information. You can click on get the forecast, tells you the avalanche danger, where it's located, what the outlook is. There's forecast discussions, there's images, and what's been going on recently across the area. So a very good tool there, avalanche.org. So anyway, yeah, active weather continues. Blizzard conditions are still up across the state. Just an amazing time to be a weather lover down across the state of California. Hopefully we're spawning some young children to become meteorologists of the future across the state. You're seeing all this crazy active weather. The only downfall to that is that sometimes it can be pretty quiet for extended periods across this state here. But the fun thing about meteorology is there's always something to watch. Even if there's those big storms going on, you get all kinds of different things like sea breeze activity. I mean, I, I'm even into dust devils. So that, that kind of a lot of things can be entertaining in meteorology. So it doesn't take huge storms and giant winter storms to really, you know, whet your appetite for some weather here so anyway um yeah we'll just continue to do this day by day we'll track these storms coming in the national weather service has been all over this they're doing a good job against southern around southern california here sometimes it can be difficult you go long periods of not much significant weather and then things get active but they have been putting out great graphics here across the state 
And yeah, they're much appreciated. So anyway, yeah, look me up on Twitter. You can drop me some pictures or images. I'll use them in my daily briefings sometimes as well, if you like. Um, but anyway, we'll watch these storms come in one by one. Looks like it's going to remain active to the extended. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.